Well, folks, so I've begun stocking my 75 gallon uh, tank, and as you can see, I put should be a total of 10 Harlequin Rasboras in here. They're youngins. Um, and then also, something I haven't had in a long time is sword tails. And so I found some green sword tails, and I love the green ones more than all of them. So I got one male, one female, and they're here. And I still have one Serpa Tetra that uh, came when I, I I got these one Serpa Tetra and one larger Holocan Rasbora right there for two dollars. They were a, a customer brought them into Petco and they were didn't want them, so I brought them in here, put them in my tank. They were my crash test dummies to make sure my tank was good for fish and they did very well so now I've got a whole school of them and then the green sword tails as well so there's more to come I want to get me some rummy nose tetras and put in here as well um, and we'll go from there and then maybe some other fish but that's where I'm at right now everything seems to be looking good Fish are doing okay. They're swimming around. I actually put some food in there and they all decided to eat. So that is a, a good thing. But I am noticing a little Serpa Tetra over here. He's uh, kind of chasing around some fish. So I may stick him, grab him out of here and stick him in my 125 because I have Serpa Tetras in there already and that may be the smart thing for me to do anyway this is where we're at with my 75 gallon and my my dirted tank let's go look at it real quick so this is my dirted tank um, right now I just have shrimp in there I tried putting some guppies in there and they didn't make it and I kept watching my water and my water parameters were, I was having ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, and so I've done some 25% water changes, three of them, and today when I tested it, we're getting close to having, being ready for fish um, to put in here. So, but right now, um, we're just going to let it stable itself out. I keep throwing more plants in here to suck up all the uh, stuff that's not good for fish and as you can see I uh, got a uh, pothos I put in there I put some octopus from my 125 I cut some off of there and threw it up in here and as you can see the seeds have already started blooming and you see all that green foliage that's all from the seeds that I had and then some plants I got from father fish so we're getting there slowly but surely. This tank uh, at some point is going to be ready for fish. I'm going to keep giving it, you know, probably another week or so and keep testing the water every day, making sure I'm not, you know, having crazy spikes. And we'll go from there. Anyhow, hope you like, subscribe, share, and hope you have a great weekend and enjoy. Bye-bye.